Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about two-step inequalities. And we're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, negative 3, parentheses, p plus 1, is less than or equal to negative 18. Okay? Well, my first step is I have negative 3 there, so I need to divide by negative 3 of both sides. That leaves me with a p plus 1 out on the left, right? The negative 3's will cancel. And now, oh, I made a little mistake, right? If I'm dividing over an inequality, I need to flip the sign. So it goes from less than or equal to to a greater than or equal to. And negative 18 divided by negative 3 is a positive 6. Okay? So because we divided by the negative 3 over the inequality, we flipped it. And then I need to subtract a 1 on both sides, leaving with p is greater than or equal to uh, positive 5, 6 minus 1. And there we have it. We have p isolated here. Most important part, we flip the inequality when we divide it by negative 3 over that inequality. So now let's graph it. Uh, we have 0, 5, 10, we're going by 5, so here 15. Just keep it consistent, whatever units you choose. Okay? Well, since p is greater than or equal to 5, we have a closed circle at p. Right? Because it can equal p, or equal 5. And then it's greater than, so our arrow goes to the right. Okay? So we have our arrow going to the right, representing all the values that p can be, as well as at 5. And so our graph matches our final answer of p is greater than or equal to 5. So let's recap here. We divided by negative 3 to both sides. So we saw that 3 outside was multiplication times uh, where it's inside the parentheses. And when in doing so, when we divided by three to, uh, negative 3 to both sides, we had to flip the inequality because we're divided by negative over an inequality. From there, I have p plus 1 is greater than or equal to positive 6. I then subtracted 1 on both sides, leaving me with p is greater than or equal to a positive 5. Okay, now that I was isolated, I needed a graph it. Closed circle because it's equal to, and I put my arrow to the right because p was greater than 5. So we have uh, the equal to sign cause closed circle, greater than, arrow to the right. Our graph now matches our final answer of p is greater than or equal to 5. 